I'm only going to say this once. Lock your doors. Because this thing could rip it straight off its hinges with pure ball speed. Apparently. So we've now covered all the new Titleist T-Series irons. The links are below to the T100, the T200, and hello, this is the T300 review. The ball speed bombing T300. If you're a Titleist fan and you need the extra horses behind the ball, T-Mal, meet T300, T300, this is T-Mal. So this is the new game improvement iron by Titleist. There's so much tech in this, it is ridiculous. I mean, there's even a volume switch on the back of the iron. If you want the full volume of the ball strike, you just move it up to full volume. And then you move this switch all the way down. If you're playing, especially in the early hours of the morning and you want it to be very quiet, it mutes the whole shot altogether. So you can't hear a damn thing. That was obviously a joke. Obviously, this is part of the new Max Impact technology package that gives these irons a bit more oomph whilst launching and maintaining the correct launch angles. If you want a higher launch angle, it's a joke. So what other tech benefits have we got except for this Max Impact technology? So we've got a progressive set design, a precise CG location which boosts the MOI in the longer irons, usually needed, and to make sure the sole and the turf become very good friends, we've got an improved camber for better turf interaction. Oh. Would everyone like to make sure their front doors are still there? Good grief, that is the highest thing I've ever seen. How would I best explain this iron performance? How far is it to the nearest airport? The nearest one I've found is Perth Airport in Perth. 36 kilometers away. That should just give us enough clearance so we don't have to call air traffic control. Okay, let's get to the lofts. I know you're wondering. It's okay. They are strong.com, but it's not ridiculous. Seven iron is 29. We've seen much stronger this year, but it's not that strong. 29 degrees, launching out of the atmosphere. We should be all right. Whoa, that's high. Right, bedtime. Cheers. It's obvious that it is bigger than the T100 and the T200, it's progressive. It's not small, small, bang, massive head. But you don't need a rocket scientist to tell you that it is definitely bigger. So I'll leave my expertise for another time. And I'm looking at this and even though it's stronger, it just looks like it's going to visit the moon. The offset isn't massive. The top line is definitely thicker, but it's not horrendous. And it's forgiving because that could not have been any more out of the toe. Toe toe. We had the tall white in the T100, the black AMT in the T200, and then we've got the red AMT in this one. So up to yet, none of these irons have disappointed me. This is probably my second favorite. I think the, T, the T200 is my least favorite looking. The T100, I can't find a fault. I'm sorry. There obviously are faults, but I was just madly in love with that golf club. So, but this is just built for distance and forgiveness. Definitely a louder, like clickier sound. Um, not something you would have got with a T100. That's flow. But like I said, this Max Impact technology is the power force really behind this whole thing. To give it that slightly softer feeling than what you would expect with this iron. It's got thinner face, so faster ball speeds across the entire face, strong structure, and then the polymer. To work, I think, more as a dampener um, rather than anything else to get rid of the unwanted vibrations. But I could be wrong there. I don't really know. So I'm going to hit a few more and then take a look at the numbers. 
let's do it. Stops. Last one, let's try and hold it. The only negative I've got for this is, which is a positive for people that want this iron, is you don't really know if you've hit it 100% bad. With a T100, if you hit it bad, you know about it. With this, it's that comfort hug again. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. I'll still get you to your destination. Right guys, before we dive into the numbers, remember it's, we've got toe to toe here, so comment below what you would like to see this up against in a toe to toe, and the highest, well the most popular answer, I will do a head to head with this iron. So if you've seen the other irons, the T100, the T200 reviews, you will know that it has been very progressive in terms of numbers, which you would expect. Slightly lighter construction equates to faster club head speed, which in turn, we've got more ball speed, bigger head profile, Backspin 6512, which is impressive for this sort of iron. Definitely showed every single signs of stopping. I mean, it's probably the highest ball flight I've ever seen with a 7 iron. Look at that! But as I always say, personal preference is the biggest thing. Get fitted. You may not like the sound or feel of these. They are slightly clunkier than that of the T100 and the T200, but the person that this is targeting shouldn't really mind if the ball is going that far, that high and stopping. It's a perfect package. You've got to sacrifice a few things sometimes. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave you by hitting a few as hard as possible. I appreciate you as watching as always. Comment below, say hello if you enjoyed the review and if you enjoyed these irons. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and the social media links are below. So make sure you give us a follow and say hello on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Thank you very much. Wow, you can come down today. Can we improve on 102 mile an hour club at speed? That felt like it was quicker and longer. And it stopped 104, 207 carry. That's not, that's a, it's a hook. It's a captain hook, but who cares? I win. 104 is probably the max. I don't think I've got any more. Is that drawing in? Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs>